थ्री न्यूज स्टोरीज फॉर यू एन ओरोमो पॉलिटिशियन हु सडनली डिस अपेयर्ड अराउंड टू ईयर्स अगो इज बैक इन इथियोपिया लेमा मगैरसा इज द नेम ऑफ द पॉलिटिशियन ही वॉज वन ऑफ द टॉप ओरोमो पॉलिटिशियन सडनली ही डिस अपेयर्ड now he is back in ethiopia will have a detailed uh, look at uh, lima magarsa's political career where uh, was he why did he leave ethiopia why is he now back in ethiopia secondly at the go show town in western tigray reports are coming in about this town about fighting there uh tigray forces were trying to enter at the goshu town we know that uh, from shiraro they were moving towards uh, at the goshu at the goshu to oh, humra distance is around 90 kilometers there is a main road uh, leading to humra i think from adi goshu and adi goshu to adi ramats distance is around 45 kilometers are tigray forces in control of adi goshu town have they entered adi goshu town we'll talk about that before that a news from somalia where an other suicide blast has occurred this time a restaurant uh, was the place where this uh, suicide blast happened but target was a training camp of uh, somali army uh, four casualties are being reported so far and more than 10 are injured al shabab armed group has claimed the responsibility for this attack al shabab says that 10 uh, uh i think 20 in the statement they mentioning 20 they say that 20 soldiers uh, turkish trained uh, somali soldiers have been killed this is the second attack by the group in mogadishu uh, in a week a few days ago uh, they attacked uh, Ibrahim Walimo who is the spokesperson of Somali uh, government he was injured now he has been taken to turkey for treatment he is in turkey now ibrahim walimo viewers this is the second attack in almost a week in mogadishu capital of somalia so you see discussed in previous videos as well that uh, the the group armed group al shabab has uh, Uh, significant penetration in mogadishu capital of uh, somalia uh, secondly viewers uh, lema magarsa is back in ethiopia he was seen in addis ababa yesterday i think he arrived in addis yesterday he, it is being said that he is back in ethiopia to participate in upcoming national dialogue who is lima magarsa why did he leave ethiopia in the first place lima magarsa was the head of oromo democratic party odp odp was part of eprdf the coalition which uh, ruled ethiopia for around 3 decades tplf was also part of eprdf and tplf was a key party in fact the most important party of eprdf but in 2018 at the start of 2018 uh, eprdf uh, prime minister dasalen helemariam had to resign eprdf prime minister dasalen helemariam had to resign because of massive uh, romo youth uprising so new prime minister was expected to be from uh, odp oromo democratic party led by lema magarsa Back then, Lema Magarsa was working as uh, Oromia Regional President, but he was not member of Parliament. So, constitutionally, if you are not member of Parliament, you cannot be a Prime Minister. So that is why he could not become Prime Minister of Ethiopia. Abi Ahmed was number two in the party in uh, Oromo Democratic Party (ODP). but abi ahmed was a member of parliament as well so that is why abi ahmed suddenly 
meeting of ODP was held, I think it was in February or March. And uh, Abi Ahmed was uh, chosen as the head of Oromo Democratic Party, ODP. Lima Magadsa, who was the head, he became deputy. And Abi Ahmed then obviously became prime minister as well. So, he was uh, close to becoming Prime Minister of Ethiopia, Lema Magarsa. But since he was not a member of parliament, he could not uh, uh, be nominated for the slot. Then uh, PM Abi uh, started his tenure. Uh, Lema Magarsa was appointed as defense minister. Then he developed some differences with the PM Abi. Because at the end of uh, 2019, Prosperity Party was formed and uh, ODP, Oromo Democratic Party, merged into this, this Prosperity Party. So he developed defenses with PM Abi and then suddenly he disappeared. People said he was under house arrest, uh, but he then went out of Ethiopia. He remained out of Ethiopia for uh, uh, more than a year, around two years, I think. Now he is back in Ethiopia. He was seen in Addis Ababa yesterday. He wants to participate in upcoming national dialogue. A key leader of uh, Oromo, uh, of Oromia region. Two days ago, I told you about uh, Mrera Gudina, head of OFC, Romo Federalist Congress. He has also arrived in Ethiopia from the US. So, Romo leadership is arriving uh, in Ethiopia to be part of national dialogue. OLF leadership is still in prison. Now, viewers, uh, at the Goshu town in western Tigray, uh, reports are coming in about this town, battlefield reports are being shared that fighting is happening near this place. Where is Adi Goshu? Have a look at this map. It is situated to the west of Shiraro and distance from Adi Goshu to Humra around 90 km. Distance from Adi Goshu to Adi Ramats around 45 km. Tigray backed news sources are claiming that Tigray forces have entered Adi Goshu town, that they have taken control of Adi Goshu town. The town is to the west of Takeze River. If these reports are correct, it means that Tigray forces have managed to advance from Shiraro, they have crossed Takeze and they have entered Adi Goshu town. We have no uh, visual confirmation, no evidence from the ground in terms of pictures, videos that Tigray fighters are in Adi Goshu town. We have no confirmation, but Tigray backed news sources are making this claim. So far, officially, Tigray has not announced the control of uh, Adi Goshu. If Adi Goshu is taken by Tigray Defense Force, yes, it would be again. Uh, a major gain in Western Tigray if they enter uh, Adi Goshu, if they remain in control of Adi Goshu, uh, they can move from Adi Goshu towards Humra, towards Adi Ramat. So, uh, it's just a claim so far. We are not in a position to verify this claim. We'll try to update you if we received some visual confirmation, some pictures, videos. But the guy, of course, were trying to move towards Adi Goshu. We know that, uh, and the reason behind fighting between Aratian and Tigray forces uh, close to Shiraro, uh, one of the reasons behind this fighting was TDF's advance towards uh, Adi Goshu, and the second reason was TDF's advance towards Badme. Uh, it seems that TDF has managed to cross Takeze River towards Adi Goshu. We'll try to update you in coming videos about Adi Goshu, about who is in control of this town. Thanks for watching.